a video blogger I watch named Casey Neistat. He's one of the top video bloggers in the world on YouTube. I think he has somewhere up around 1.5 million subscribers and gets <laughs> just thousands upon thousands of views every day. He does a daily video blog, but one of his most recent video blogs, he was talking about uh, I guess you could call it being a go-getter and getting what you want and not being a whiner. Yeah, the main of it was don't Don't be a whiner. Don't be a complainer But and, and for the most part The blog was kind of I don't know repetitive He did have some good insight But some of it didn't go into enough detail and it kind of sounded like Hey, don't ever complain. Just do and I don't total I don't agree with that and most protester type people that are active in doing and I guess you could call it complaining <laughs> Anyway long story short he uh, used a quote from a clockwork orange <laughs> And it basically has Alex the head of the droogies talking about how if you want a car they grow on trees just go pick one aka carjack some motherfucker <laughs> and then he said if you want pretty Polly um, then just go take it well there, <laughs> there's a big problem with that and basically what this whole is about. Now, Pretty Polly, if you do some research, is thought by places like Urban Dictionary, which is not written by experts of any means, and uh, just general forums seem to think that Polly rhymes with lolly, which is British slang for money. But I could find nothing where the writer, director, or anybody related to the book or the film admitted that Pretty Polly is just money. Now, if you do a little more research and you type in just Pretty Polly to Google, it'll come back with quite a few references to songs and a rather famous, uh, what is it, not a limerick, but a, oh, a ballad. You don't believe in a feline bomb. It's a ballad. And basically, to uh, do a short synopsis of the ballad, it's basically about a guy who falls in love with a girl, kidnaps her, rapes her, and murders her. <laughs> and buries her. She then proceeds to uh, haunt his him for, oh God, I don't know how long, but I think it culminates in him killing himself. So a super, super inspirational, proactive, don't be a whiner uh, <laughs> piece of pop culture there. Don't complain, just carjack, rape, murder people. I don't think uh, Casey Neistat meant to go there. <laughs> I think he may have actually been being sar I think he may have actually been sarcastic. Totally sarcastic. He, he seems to be that kind of guy, but this is just one of those fine examples of if you're going to make a grandiose statement and try to be an authority on something, you really need to do your research because, uh, oh my God, I'm pretty sure that that ballad is actually what inspired Nirvana's song, Polly. Maybe she would like more food Ask me to untie So, yeah! Yeah, you might want to might want to do some research. I'll link the uh, 1927 super creepy rendition of that ballad, which sounds like a Louisiana redneck sitting on his back porch playing the banjo. Something out of true blood, if you can imagine. Singing about uh, exactly what I just talked about. <laughs> so, do your research.
research, guys, gals, writers, designers, everybody, because they can come back to make you look like a total ass. That's it. West Coast. Time to root.